We'll guide you through how to download and install shaders for Minecraft on a Mac. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Shaders completely change the look of Minecraft and they can make it look super cool. So let's go and get started. First of all, go and close off Minecraft just like so. Now what we need to do is go and open up a web browser. In this case, we can use Chrome or Safari on a Mac, it doesn't matter. Now what you want to do is go and search for something called Optifine. Go and type it in like so. And then what you need to do is go to optifine.net. So Optifine is essentially an optimization tool for Minecraft, and it also allows us to go and use shaders. So on the site, go to the top and click on downloads. Now, what I like to do is go and get the most recent one, which in this case is Minecraft 1.21.1. So what we can do is go and click on download. You'll get to say, can add wall? Just be aware the download button here is for the add. You need to wait for the skip button in the top right. So when you can, go and click on it like so. Then you'll be on the download page and we can go and click on download just here and it's now downloaded. Before we get any further, a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. They should be your go-to Minecraft server host. At the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice. I'll go and put a link down below for you to go and check them out. They've got so many awesome features like one click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support so you can get the help when you need it, ultra latency and much more as well you can go and check out there. So if you're interested, I'll go and put a link down below. But now to continue with the guide, now we've got Optifine, which is essentially how we go and run the shaders, we need to get the shaders themselves. So there's lots of different packs out there. If you've got one in mind, you can go straight to it or you can go to a website called CurseForge and you can actually go and browse them there. So come to curseforge.com, you can select Minecraft, click on categories and you need to go and find the option for shaders, this first one here, and you can then browse through here and go and see them. You can click on them to go and see some images. I really like sealed as vibrant shaders, so I'm gonna click there. You can then scroll through, take a look at the gallery and the description to get an idea of what they're like. You can then click on files and you can scroll down and you can see the different packs here. So if we look at extreme, that's going to require the most processing power, whereas light is the opposite. It requires the least performance. In this case, I'm just going to go for medium and we can go and see the game version, which is 1.21, which is fine. So I can click on the three dots to the right and go and click on download file. Now you need to come and open up your finder, come to the downloads on the left and you need to go and find Optifine. Go and double click on it like so. And you may go and get this pop up here. If you do, that's fine. We can go and fix it. Now, if when you run Optifine, nothing happens or something else happens, which isn't right, you need to go and get Java. So you can go back to your web browser. You want to go and search for Java, go to java.com and you can download it and install it. It's really easy. And then come back here and try running Optifine. To fix that pop up I had though, what we need to do is come down and click on privacy and security on the left. Then go and scroll down like so, and we can go and click on open anyway like this. I can go and use my touch ID and I can go and open it. You'll get this pop up here and you can click on install. If you get this error, that's fine. Go and open up the launcher. You then need to go to the top and click on installations, click on new installation, and we need to go and get the version that we got Optifine for, which in this case is 1.21.1, this one here. You can then go and name it something, press create, and then you can go and click play and it will download. Now that you've run it, you can quit it and you can then click on install again in Optifine and it should now go and install like so. Now open up the launcher again, then what you can do is go and click on options and then video settings and you'll see Optifine in the bottom left with the option for shaders. Click there and what we can then do is click on shaders folder. It's likely you won't have any here. I do as I've installed them before. Then what you need to do is go and drag in at the shader pack just like so. After you've done that, it will then go and appear in this list here. So what you can then do is go and select it, as you can see, and now let's go and get into a world. Overall, I think shaders are a great addition.